What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Shouldn't talk about Scream 6 in this video here again today. And this will be mostly, yes, a Kirby-centric video once again. Because Hayden Pantier has made a decision that kind of has given us some more reason to believe that the Kirby announcement is coming very, very soon. At least I hope so. If not anything, we at least now know that Hayden Pantier seems to be getting back into getting roles for either movies, upcoming TV series... And hopefully she'll be making a big comeback, hopefully starting with Scream 6 next year with her return to the franchise in the role of Kirby Reed, joining all the surviving characters that we got in the end of Scream 5. So what came out today was a report from Deadline with the headline stating that Nashville and Hero star Hayden Pantier signs with Mainstay in Entertainment for Management. Now, to my knowledge, this is a, a this is a company that handles like talent management and stuff like that as it pertains to helping give stars good publicity handling all their pr and media exposure maybe setting up appearances on television interviews with journalists their social media present and they just kind of like advise on like job opportunities for them to take but they can't actually negotiate contracts on 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 their behalf so that's where an agent would come into play and the agents are the ones who would be responsible for cutting deals and finding work for actors, filmmakers, writers, and other musicians. So with this knowledge of knowing that Hayden has signed with them, this gives us more reason to believe that we are now closer than ever to getting that announcement with Scream 6 because we all know that Radio Silence has already expressed interest in wanting to have Hayden back in Scream 5, maybe giving her like a brief cameo, but if she is going to be in their movie, they had a lot more in mind in terms of how they wanted to use Kirby. So they decided against it. And now hopefully what they've done is kept in touch with Hayden. And this is going to be Hayden's chance to get to come back and fulfill those shoes as the character of Kirby Reed. Once again, get involved, shake it up once again with Ghostface. And we'll get to see Hayden Pantier back doing something on screen for the first time in what is many years for her. Uh... I think the last time she did something was late 2010s, maybe mid 2010s after Screen 4. I know she did some stuff on TV. Uh, I know I used to watch that TV show she was in, Heroes. I used to love that show. But we will hopefully get some news that is officially announcing her participation in Screen 6 sooner rather than later. I think that this means that she is in the, is in the process of negotiating uh, or about to start negotiating certain things as it pertains to any upcoming roles she may want to take, such as Scream 6. That seems like the most likely thing, honestly, and that's just coming from us Scream fans. Me being a Scream fan myself and us being in that bubble, knowing that they already had plans for Hayden. Hayden's character was confirmed to be alive in Scream 5. Now she seemingly makes a gigantic move that would point in the direction of her being involved with a project sooner rather than later given the fact that we know she hasn't done much over the past couple of years. Again, she did have a recent uh, incident in the public. So this is one way to already start doing their job, which is giving her good PR. And hopefully over the next coming weeks, something will come out that announces and confirms Hayden as one of the stars in Scream 6. Now, we do know that with Production Weekly, there are still those updates that come out, but there hasn't been a real update pertaining to Scream 6 and what going on three weeks if we don't get anything this week. But maybe, just maybe, this week when that Production Weekly update comes out, there will be a new name associated with Courtney Cox's name, and hopefully that name is one Hayden Pantier. Now, Paramount again does have something going on Thursday at CinemaCon. I think that's just mostly going to be for Top Gun Maverick. I again think it would be incredible to have a short video prior to that where they acknowledge Scream, the success Scream had, and how they can't wait to bring Ghostface back to the big screen in 2023. If that's the only movie they talk about, then so be it. And you know, you can have a quick video with Nev Campbell announcing her return, announcing that all the other surviving stars will be back as well. Jenna, Melissa, Chad, uh, I meant to say Mason, Jasmine, and then also announced that Courtney Cox will be back and also announced that Hayden Pantier will be back as well in the role of Kirby Reed. I think that would be a nice way to just kind of announce some small bits of information relate, related to the sixth movie, but I doubt that's going to happen because, again, it looks like Top Gun Maverick is going to be the primary thing for Paramount at CinemaCon this week. But with Kirby, yes, hopefully this is a sign of big things to come for Hayden Pantier 
most importantly just of course seeing that she probably is in a, a, a lot better place than many of us thought she might have been and she's trying to move forward and make some make some uh changes and make some or add some new additions to her career filmography as it pertains to her starring in some upcoming projects whether that be scream six or something else honestly the only thing that's really important here is that hayden seems to be getting back into the industry hopefully this is a big step in the direction of her having her name and a lot more stuff and as it pertains to kirby one more time i know a lot of you want to see kirby mix it up with mindy mix it up with all of those surviving characters want to see her in like some type of film professor setting or in some type of film talk discussion with mindy and mixing that up and just seeing how those two minds come together i think that would be a epic moment just because of how those characters again have many similarities since they all of course seem to be inspired by the absence of randy Me meeks even though i think both of them in a lot of ways surpass randy maybe kirby more so than mindy uh that's just my honest opinion but hopefully this is again a sign that hayden is going to be starring in a lot more things going forward and hopefully it begins with scream six hopefully this means that she has started negotiating as it pertains to her involvement in scream six or maybe she actually has already already done that and what is being announced today is just news of the fact that she had been involved with this talent management company for some time and now they've just gone ahead and made it public because i believe that her involvement with scream six would, be, would have been something that they radio silence i mean would have at least had locked down going as far back as to when they wanted to have her in screen five and they say you know what we're not gonna we're not gonna do you here but we 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 have faith that this project is gonna succeed and if it does we will be in touch because we want you back in the role as kirby reed and hopefully we get to learn a lot more about kirby learn what she's been up to learn what her life has been like since screen four maybe see how she responded to the events of what jill and the boy she started to give a chance did to her how she feels about that how she feels about having her best friend stab her in the back how she has stayed in contact hopefully with sydney maybe even how maybe there's some i don't know tension between them maybe she again has a connection with the other characters maybe she dated richie i threw that out there in a video but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below do you think this means we're one step closer to that kirby announcement if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe Turn on post notification and never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.